Hey everybody, welcome to Giggles Don't Want Haters. That was from Dan Douglas on Patreon. He's a member of our 420 Club, and there's lots of things you can get for being a member there at patreon.com slash gettingdug, including we're going to start doing uh, post-show episodes called Doing Dugs with Dabs. Doing Doug with Dabs. And uh, <laughs> and only Patreon members will get to see that. So sign up if you want that stuff. Doug Plugs, I'm doing stand-up on Saturday, February 8th, and Doug Loves Movies on Sunday, February 9th, both at the Punchline in Sacramento, both at 420. Uh, Doug Loves Movies comes to Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina on February 16th, and I'm doing stand-up at the Improv in Tampa on Thursday, February 28th. For all my dates, go to douglovesmovies.com and be sure to check out my Dining with D&K podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Enjoy the show. Blast off! We're doing it. We're back in the basement. Nice to see everybody is back here with us. I have got a newbie and an old bee, as we like to say, joining me. We've got uh, our friend Ron Funches. Oh, oh, that is five people who really know how to clap. Yeah. <laughs> they really filled the room with that. And joining us for the first time is a musical artist, Citizen Cope. So, um, well, I've been told that it's okay to call you Clarence. You can call me Clarence or you can call me Cope. Oh, yeah, Cope. Either one. I like that. <laughs> I like the sound of that. That's uh, It's always fun to have a, a friend with a name that's, that's a word that's not normally a name. And uh, Ron? Hi, Dad. What can we call you? Mm, professor. <laughs> I like, I, okay, Professor, I can do that. <laughs> I love it. I'm already on board. I'm already doing it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what do you guys, uh, let's uh, start with you first, Clarence. So what's, uh, what do you got going on right now that you'd like people to know uh, and, and about and check out? Well, I got a new record coming out in March, March 1st, and a tour across the U.S. and um, the name of the record is called Heroin and Helicopters. Mm -hmm. And I got the name from uh, when I met Carlos Santana. He told me to stay away from the two H's. And uh, I was like, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, heroin and helicopters, they don't work well with musicians. And uh, I guess, Stevie Ray Vaughan and, and, and Bill Graham had passed away in helicopter rides. And mm -hmm. so I, I thought it meant a lot now because it just seemed like with all the things going on, it, it kind of made sense. Yeah, it really, you know, it's compact. It's like very specific warning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, it's like don't work with dogs or children. You know, it's just like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Have you stayed away from helicopters? How often does someone make try to make you go on a helicopter? You know what? I've never been on a helicopter, and I always took his advice. And I was just doing a private show in Jamaica, and we got there, and and the people who were doing the event, were like you got to take a helicopter because we have to get you there for this rehearsal, or you know all. So I actually got on a helicopter, and um, flew across the. Um, the Blue Mountains of J Jamaica th from from Kingston to Port Antonio. So I was, I actually kind of liked it, but. Um, <laughs> That's the trap. That's the trap. That's what. He wasn't saying you, because he was like, bad. don't get addicted yeah. to those things. <laughs> those are both very addicting. Heroin and helicopter. <laughs> 
Well, the uh, sativa that we have today is called Seriously Sour, and that's what we put in most of the, uh, the things here. And then we've got an indica standing by called Purple Punch. But I hear that uh, Clarence enjoys um, uh, pre-rolls. Yes. Is that true? Well, you know. Was that uh, correct intel that I got? So we got a bunch of those here. Do you have any preferences between uh, indica or sativa? Well, neither one is fine. <laughs> okay, because I couldn't tell you which one this is, but uh, <laughs> but it looks like like a, a fun piece of business. But also, you like to uh, you put a little tobacco in your uh, yeah a weeds little if you if you roll it yourself. Do you want to roll something? Yeah, I'll roll something. We got some random papers here. You're so soulful. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it would be awesome if you want to uh, roll that up and um, how are you doing down there, Ron? Did you get a hit of something? Oh, can, uh, can you just start now? Okay. Yeah. yeah I, oh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. It was probably 420-ish somewhere. And, uh, yeah. 420 somewhere. Let's all start smoking before we get into the real, you know, heavy hardball questions. Mm-hmm before we sit here and solve the world's problems. It's easy to let's do. Let's just smoke a little bit. Everybody uh, watch Giggle Fit on uh, Comedy Central? I did. You watched it? <laughs> Yeah, it turned out nice, right? It did turn out yeah, really nice. Yeah, people are people are super into it. It was the most watched thing in the history of television. Yeah, yeah, me <laughs> and, uh, since Mash. Oh yeah. Yeah. The last episode. Damn Mash, that thing. Yeah, that last episode really hangs in there. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to beat. Yeah, but you know, there's only three channels at the time. That's why I think everyone was so like megastar back then with in television. Yeah, even the static was a star back then. Yeah, I mean, Partridge Family. It's very soulful. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you say, I just hang on every word. <laughs> I thought I should be yeah. sitting next to you just whittling something. I love it. Where are you from? I was raised in Washington, D.C. Oh, I would not have expected that. Yeah. I'm, uh, and then I lived in New York for a long time, and I was born in the Deep South, and um, family lived down there, so I spent a lot of time down there. What's your high history? Like, how did you get started uh, smoking? I'm going to my whole own high history. Pops, I had, sorry a, about I had that. A, a family member that... Um, Partook in a little bit of uh, growing, and uh, but it was back when I don't think this particular person knew how to grow, so it was just the leaves. So um, you know, I, I you know obviously with some friends and that kind of stuff. Give us their full names. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just open up the old poke bowl here so we got something to ash into. It's really beautiful. Um, we've talked to Ron about his high history before, so. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, uh, any, uh, you know, sort of like celebrity smoking stories? You ever smoked with somebody famous like a, like a president? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't have any Willie Nelson stories. When I went, I went to the White House one time, but I definitely didn't partake after, after he got in trouble with the IRS for doing that. So um, I didn't want to be kicked out of the White House f for that. But, yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't really have too many, you know, celebrity stories regarding marijuana. I actually... Um, hung out with Matthew McConaughey one time and he he had that story about the 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 thing and he didn't smoke so 
Yeah, he he's, he's, he's really, uh, yeah. Uh, but he's, you know, makes movies like Surfer Dude. <laughs> and um, there's some other one coming out soon where he plays a, a what looks to be a, a very much a stoner character. So he doesn't mind pretending. He can when you win an Oscar, I guess. Right? <laughs> he was good in that movie. I didn't see the, the white boy Rick. He was in that one too? Yeah. I didn't see that movie. I didn't see it. It was it had some hype before it came out and then cuz it's based on a real kid that was like a drug lord when he was only like a teenager. Yeah. And they called him White Boy Rick. I it's tried all, to download it. I know. Yeah. I tried to download it on the my cable's all messed up but <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure this cable out out here. I'm serious, Alicia. Get a lot of pot topics ready. Yeah. No, I love it. This is a this is a mellow jam today. It's very soulful. We just we just did a show with Andy Kindler. I saw him walking around. Yeah. I didn't know why he was here. He was he was here to, to talk constantly. Did he? Oh, so he could chat chat. So he could fill the time. This show is the absolute opposite. Oh yeah. I mean, I, just, I literally just here. landed from a six-hour flight, so I'm like, I'm like, oh, sitting next to Cove here, I'm ready to nap. <laughs> Where'd me, you come in from? From New York. Yeah, I was just doing some shows in Maryland and then doing press for him for the special. So just was doing that this weekend and came back. Right on, right on. Thank you. Um, I've got a list of names that I have to read off. don't have to read off, but we like to read the names of people who belong to our 420 club at uh, Patreon. We've got someone named Ari. <laughs> Ethan Rivel. Yeah, this is a good time to smoke, guys. Uh, Frank Hernandez. Chris Keem. Ryan Dyer. Someone named From A to G. Uh, Jake Hodges. Joy Craig. Timothy O'Connell. And Cody Huey. Thanks to all of those people. Now that we're good and high, you guys want to do kind of a game show quiz portion of the show? Sure. Absolutely. I felt like the, um, you know, the flight attendant talking to the people in the exit row, and I, I needed a yes out of a verbal yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they look to at make you sure that eye. you're ready, yeah. Okay, here's how it goes. I'm just going to ask, ask a question. I don't know the answer either, so we can all work on it together. Uh, marijuana knows something? What percentage of American adults believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows? All right. Grown, Don't get grown the adult choice. This is going to be this, an embarrassing number. That there's a number at all. That it's this, even trackable. Is this is this a grown ups or just children? Oh, uh, American adults. Oh, okay. So these are probably as soon as you get to 18, somebody takes you aside <laughs> and says, "Hey." Do you think chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Just the way someone would say that question would make me go, no, of course not. Are say, you trying to trick me into thinking it does? Say 7%. You're going 7%? Yeah. I can see it, though. <laughs> this is if you get them young, you know. You, like if you're doing exactly what you say, pull them right aside at 18, 19, and you like, because it's almost like you're pressuring them. You're like, you, do you think it does? Do you think it does? You know, and so. Yeah. Do you think the Earth is round? I don't know. <laughs> See, that's how it goes. I can't. How can I prove that it isn't? Yeah. There's a percentage of people that don't think it is. I'm gonna say. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go a little higher, but not much higher. I'm gonna say nine nine percent. Okay. I fear for our country. <laughs> <laughs> But also, just for the drama of it, I'm going to go a little higher, and I'm going to say 42 percent. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good point. Because that's what these these questions are tricky. They'll get you. Like, yeah. It depends where the survey was taken. Also. Yeah. Well, that there's or, they leave out those specifics sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So it could have been just that they asked 10 people. Like Pam uh, style. Yeah. You know. S s <laughs> but the correct answer is, <clears throat> you said seven, you said nine. Yeah, I hope it's like two. It's Price is Right style, closest without going over. <laughs> I said 42. <laughs> and the answer is 7%. Nice. Nailed it. 
Bam! Still an embarrassing number. It's very high. <laughs> it's just like me and my guests. It's very high. All right. That went so well, I want to do another one. Marijuana know something? Um, I need some help with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why there was such a delay. <laughs> uh, I, I, need a, I need a clarification on a word that I think is a typo, but I'll, I'll lift? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you about the typo later. Uh, what happens when you lift a kangaroo's tail off the ground? <laughs> That's so open. So I imagine it's still attached to a kangaroo. Because if it's just the tail, I'm sure you can do whatever you want with it. Um, like I mean, it just feels like it would immediately pull away or spin around. I think it kicks the shit out of you. You think it kicks backwards? Do they do that? <laughs> can they kick forward. behind themselves? I feel like maybe it's maybe like the, a Maybe it pump. shits on your feet. Or yeah. they go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> so then you pull it up, it poops on your feet. <laughs> uh, but that's why I was confused, because I, I originally looked down to see what happens when you life a kangaroo's tail. You life it? When you life it. When you fall in love with it? <laughs> that's dangerous. I mean... <laughs> I would hope something bad happens, whatever it is. When you lift the kangaroo. When you lift the kangaroo's tail, because what are you doing? It would be fun if it was Where good, if you? it was like a kinder egg popped out. Like. <laughs> or like you get seven years good luck or something. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so that's, that's what we're leaving it with. You get kicked or you get shit on. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's going to be something crazier than one of those. Like maybe it wants to marry you. It falls in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do whatever you want. Okay, we gotta go to a break, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, cliffhanger. Let's cliffhanger it. I'll, I'll tell you guys what happens when you life a kangaroo's tail off the ground uh, right after these messages. Other than your absolute best friends, who could you ask to bring you red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., and a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m.? Postmates! Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever you can think of delivery service all year round. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver anything to you. Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, Postmates will bring you what you want within the hour. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the known universe with more than 25,000 partner merchants. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners and viewers $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app right now and use the code DUG. That's Doug for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Get anything you need, anytime you need it. Download Postmates and save with code Doug. We're back. We're here with Susan Cope, a.k.a. Clarence, and Ron Funches. And Alicia has joined us. The professor. <laughs> <laughs> professor Ron. And, uh, <laughs> and she's... <laughs> Uh, going to tell us about marijuana news, but first, the answer to the cliffhanger question, what happens when you lift a kangaroo's tail off the ground? You had a theory? I think they fall over, because I think their tails are really big. So you so just lift I think it up, just, and then they just go, quink. Yeah, they, just, they like, the gravity is all off. Flop over? Good, that's that's, that's what I'm one. going good with. Good answer, good answer. Thank okay. you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna switch my answer. The, cor <laughs> the correct answer is, oh, it can't hop. Yeah, but who can if you hold their tail? It loses its hopping ability. Why is that? I guess because the they use the tail as well to as like the feet push to push. Maybe it's like a wow. balance, a counterbalance. Yeah, 
That's like their kryptonite. Mm. Lifting their tail. Wow. Well, that was they're very. I'm sorry to call that a cliffhanger and then <laughs> have it be so anticlimactic. <laughs> but we've got lots of exciting news to talk about, right, Alicia? Yeah. All right, let's do some pot topics. Pot topics. <laughs> um. Well, by the time everyone watches this, the Super Bowl will have already happened. But as of right now, there was a Super Bowl ad which was for medical marijuana. It showed three different patients who had three various medical reasons for using cannabis. And when they sent in a storyboard, they got an email back saying that they were not allowed to air it on CBS. Yeah, CBS kicked this one uh, out, and so now it's, it's all over the internet, and hopefully, you know, maybe, maybe they'll change their minds, but, uh, but that was their decision. <laughs> and it's just about, you know, um, children and veterans getting, uh, you know, medical marijuana. It's not, it's not like it's about recreation. Right, they're very extreme cases, and they're not even advertising the sale of anything. It's just in general. It's just saying, this is why you know, allowed. this cannabis is good, and get, get it together, America. But... It's better than recreational beer, but they get a whole lot of commercials. I, I wouldn't uh, be terribly surprised if somebody, some smart person was like, let's submit a commercial that gets turned down and then, then we get all the publicity for everything. No, I think that's what just down. happened. I think that's exactly <laughs> what happened. I don't think in no world did they think that CBS was going to approve this ad. Right, well, right. Well, also the funding to be able to pay for the commercial. I'm not saying that they weren't able to. How but much was it? So they originally made a 60 second version, although they were debating if they were going to shorten it down to 30 seconds. And I looked it up and CBS is charging an average of $5.2 million for a 30 second ad. Whoa. Yeah. So they were going to go fund me it? How are they going to get the money? I, I am unclear. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I can't believe that amount of money. Yeah. So they might have played CBS just by uh, submitting it and being told no. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Do you think they allow anyone, just anyone to submit, <clears throat> even? Ooh. Oh, why? Do you have a commercial you want to <laughs> yeah, oh, but yeah, I, I got a commercial I want them to turn down. Yeah. Pitch it. We had commercial for Giggle Fit and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and helicopters. They turned them both down. Yeah. I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> Everybody should, should purchase our items to get back at them. <laughs> <laughs> Strong pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it right after I have some more of this seriously sour. Is that the sativa that we mm -hmm. have right now? Yeah. Oh. That's a fun name. That's like suddenly good. Susan, but but <laughs> we right suddenly or like Susan. Uh, accidentally Seymour. maybe. Is that what it was called? That movie? Yeah. I think so. With Ryan Reynolds, accidentally, <laughs> definitely maybe. Def I would, yeah, that didn't sound quite right. Accidentally okay. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I accidentally got myself into a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next topic. Up in Michigan, there's a group of cannabis advocates who are suing the state to have marijuana removed as being categorized as a Schedule One drug. Oh, it's about time. Yeah, because the problem is that, by definition, that should mean that it has no medical value whatsoever. However, Michigan is a state that has it legalized medically, so it just it makes no sense. So, well, quit contradicting you yourself, Michigan. Pull it, pull it together. Get all the fingers and the thumb Backwards. together. I'm yeah. from there and I'm still messing it up. Yeah. And no, it's that to, way. That's how it goes. They used to be aggressive with it, I thought. <laughs> What's that? I thought Michigan used to be kind of progressive. Well, they, they, made it, they made it legal for medical. A long time ago. But now they're sitting around, you know. They also just went recreational on this They're trying to double dip, trying to get the money for the weed and then also get the money for arresting people. That's a double, classic double deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, it used to be like a five dollar charge or something. I think. A five dollar charge for what? I think a ticket in Michigan was. Well, was, now it's recreational, be really, but. Yeah, but it used to be cheap. Probably. Yeah, it depends on where you I know. Like that. Ann Arbor oh, right. is very progressive on weed uh, as compared to other parts of the state. The advocates <clears> behind this specifically hope that this is going to end police raids. 
Well, that's yeah. That's the thing that's uh, kind in of regards to marijuana happening everywhere. It's just the uh, the idea, like let's not pursue these cases anymore. But let's also, you know, the, I'm not hearing about enough places letting everybody out of prison who are in there for these. Uh, it is starting to happen, yeah. though. It's starting to state happen, by but, state, but, uh, but it's 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 not happening enough. Definitely, <laughs> I like you know, it. No, and there are some of the places where it's legal. <laughs> weed is now legal, and there's people still in jail for weed. So yeah, it's it's, uh, crazy. it's not fair. But uh, hopefully we have a more fun pot topic coming up. Actually, <laughs> well, now six that you people it, dead. <laughs> the inventor of marijuana yeah. died. <laughs> yeah, give us some good news over there. Man, well, well uh, only if you have some. This one, this one, hopefully <laughs> will result up. in being good news. So oh, right, okay. right now in Colorado, um, there are children with extreme medical cases who are allowed to use cannabis. However, they can only have one legal caretaker, so only that caretaker can purchase it for them. And so now there's a bill being introduced. It was, it was introduced this month by Representative Matt Gray, which will allow children under 18 to have more than one person that can actually retrieve that medicine. Because in a lot of cases, they have to travel several hours to get to it. Comes because the real they're hassle. Only, yeah, because they're only allowed to use very specific types. Yeah, and like, you know, somebody's like a single parent, they we can maybe get somebody else to help out and mm -hmm. also get to go pick up the weed. Yeah, or even in situations where there just are two parents, it's just so much easier to They're be busy. able to split those duties. Exactly. Other children? Mm-hmm. This sounds good, Colorado. Just do it. Yeah, so hopefully that'll <laughs> that'll work. I think that's going to be great. Yeah, there's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a happy one. Yeah, let's <laughs> hear it for a happy, happy story. Oh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> clappers. You know what? This mm -hmm. one's good news. Okay. Two months ago, Massachusetts legalized. They are the most recent one to do so. And in those two months, they have already generated nearly $24 million worth of sales. Go! $23.8 million as of January 20th, I to like be specific. That. Great, yeah. great work mm -hmm. they're doing there. You they got a gig coming up there? Run. No, but hopefully soon. So that makes me happy. And also, <laughs> you know, they need to chill out there in general. They're real aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing uh, Wilbur Theater in Boston on um, on April 20th on 420. So I'm very excited about that. It's a beautiful theater. One of my favorite. We're playing in the Aww. same it's town. Neat. What? On April 20th. Where are you going to be? We'll have to link up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, but. So Massachusetts does have a 17% tax, which is, I believe, the highest in the nation right now. So they've made more than $4 million in taxes in those two months. Well, good for them, I guess. <laughs> Depends how they use it, but yeah. it could be. Yeah, exactly. But that's, you know, I think that's the other thing is uh, all these places that have weed sales should, you know, treat it like the lottery and, um, you know, put that money into schools or something. I think they do so, in Colorado, some of it. right? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think that's the way to go. Uh, so Florida. Okay, so now we're gonna get a bad one. Hold on here. <laughs> 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 this is good. You're gonna like this one, I oh, think. Oh, okay. Uh, Disneyland. It's okay to smoke. Well, so so right now medical marijuana is allowed in Florida, but flour is not allowed. You can do edibles, you can, you can vape it, you can use oils, but you cannot actually smoke flour or sell flour. Uh, but now the new governor, uh, as of January 17th, said that if the state legislature does not change the law banning smoking medical cannabis this coming March, then he's gonna drop the appeal that prevents flour sales, which was put into effect by his predecessor, Rick Scott. Ugh, Rick Scott. Rick Scott, yeah. But now he's out, and there's this new guy who's... <laughs> who's all right with it. He's, he's into it, yeah. yeah. the new guy is... Ron DeSantis. He's cool. Yeah, ain't a better name. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hear two first names. <laughs> <laughs> um, Has to be Professor Ron. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> is this gonna... Is, so all this is happening soon, hopefully? Yeah, he said that if they haven't changed it by March, then oh, he's yeah. going gonna to step That's in. That's just so. a month away, yeah. unless if mm -hmm. you're watching this later. 
<laughs> and really like are in the past. <laughs> Tell us how it worked out. <laughs> It's crazy because the biggest reason Florida didn't actually legalize flour too was just because they thought that had too much of like the stoner image. Like that that's what they were afraid of was smoking it was just that's too wrong. That is the nastiest way to do it. I think. Uh, Florida's an interesting state. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at the improv in Tampa on February twenty eighth. <laughs> I but, just got uh, sued yeah. in Florida. Sued? Yes, I got sued. For what? It's yeah. the first time. For just For, sitting around quietly? No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did a show in Jacksonville, and the promoter got um, went bankrupt, and then sent his bankruptcy like two days after the festival. They gave us the check, and you know, sent you know, it took me a couple days to get the check to my business manager, and then. One day late or something, and 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 by law, you can go bankrupt in Florida, and sue the vendors that you've actually paid in between the time that they gave you the check and they filed bankruptcy. Oh. So it's a complete. It sounds crazy, but I did the show, everything. <laughs> <laughs> what are they suing you for? The money that they gave me. Yeah. <laughs> they just want you to give back the money? Yes. But you did the show? I did the show. So what are you going to do now? Do you have to go I went sit already, in the courtroom there? Yeah, I went there. I was having dreams of being Perry Mason or, you know, <laughs> at least saying objection. Um, and that didn't, you know, I got there and they, they said, well, you can't really represent yourself. And also th there's all this stuff that happened and... Uh, it went back to the creditor or the person suing me. So I just have to, I, w I was going to have to hire a lawyer and all that, but I wanted to represent myself. But then I was told I couldn't represent myself. That doesn't, oh. I think that's not, I've seen a lot of TV. And uh, <laughs> the, the rule is you can represent yourself if you want to. Yeah, you gotta represent. <laughs> you got to. Right? Isn't they that gotta the rule? let you represent. Because it would cost. Or could it be different in some states like Florida? Maybe you can't oh, they represent yourself. Charge you yourself. money to represent yourself? Well, if you had a lawyer, it would cost you money to represent yourself. So, so, therefore, they make you get a public attorney, or they didn't. They didn't offer that. They don't offer that. Because yeah, because he's just being sued. He's not oh, being charged yeah, with a crime. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. So uh, yeah, so it's a. Uh, yeah, don't get sued, you guys. That's yeah. a that's a lesson to learn here, and uh, hopefully this will work. Yeah. Out. <laughs> that's your fault, really. Yeah, just don't do stuff that keeps sued. you from being sued. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> could you give him the money? Could you give him the money back, or did you already spend it on? Uh, no, he didn't get any <laughs> money. No, he got, got the money. money. Oh, he got oh the sorry, money. sorry. But he did the job. They, they want you to return it. He did the it. job, and they it. still yeah, want yeah. it back. Yeah, yeah. No, that's your money. It happens to me all the time. That's what yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I mean, you know, I mean, you haven't spent the money, have you? <laughs> well, it's I put, gone. I put it, I put it in, in. I paid taxes on it and everything because it was yeah, right. Yeah. It was right near the new year, and um, yeah, that's messed up. Yeah. Well, good so. luck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the positive reinforcement. Uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't wish that on anybody. <laughs> Be su sued for doing a show. <laughs> you should say, "Give me my show back." They also sued a, a, the a, an, another band and uh, the wine company that they got all their liquor oh. from. So oh, they're just going around suing everybody. Yeah. Maybe those other people will be big. You know, have powerful lawyers that can fight it, and that'll that'll help your case. I think it's under law that you can do. You know, that's you know, it's what it is. So we'll see. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. You're welcome. You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time, <laughs> and we'll be right back. Hey, we're back. We're back here with my friend, my new friend, Clarence, a.k.a. Citizen Cope. 
and old friend Ron Funches and the Dab King of Southern California, the Dab Master General of the United States. So many titles. The whole United States. I don't know States. how you juggle them all. Count I, I, forget, I forget them until you say them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Taylor Rizzo <laughs> is here to... Oh, Yay. there you go. He's here to uh, dab us out if we so choose. I don't know what you gentlemen have planned for the rest of the uh, day and evening. Uh, I know that I don't have anything. I have to, oh, I have to do a Doug Love movies yeah, taping, it. but um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you know I'm committed to everything, so uh, I'm committed to doing dabs here. And we've got a new uh, post show that's going to also contain us doing dabs that we're going to try for the first time today. So basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to be the most fucked up. <laughs> I've ever been leaving this building, but I'm still gonna remember to stop by and pet the puppy. Yeah, I pet How the could puppy. You that is a good dog out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> True, but if he gets up on the gate, you gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta turn your you back. You gotta turn your back, and that is hard to turn your back on a puppy. Mm -hmm. But then the puppy learns. Yeah, but then he turned Don't his back on, on me. Then you I, did? yeah, and then I was like, oh, I see what it feels like. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> that puppies, they're uh, you know, it's fun. They're pretty, pretty shifty. It feels like you're sucking in the ghost from Ghostbusters. It changes so many colors and yeah. stuff. I like That's that. what it feels like. It's very festive. Nice. You can change the colors to whatever. Float your boat. I'm a purple. You're a purple guy? Yeah. I love purple. It's my favorite color. Me too. I had to deny it for a long time. Oh, up. okay, because you didn't feel masculine about it? Because you'll get punched if you say purple. Mm, yeah, you got to let them know, though. It's regal, it's strong, <laughs> it's intuitive. Right. That's right. Purple Why does a ghost eat a bunch of hot dogs, though? <laughs> I don't know. Why would a ghost be the ghost of, hungry? Uh, Why would a ghost Kobayashi. want to <laughs> just gorge himself on hot dogs? They, may, they can taste it, but they can't gain weight. So it's like That's just fun. That's like, good, I like, guess. Boom. But then where does it go? He just puts it in his mouth and it disappears. Falls out. It's gone. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> they did that in Casper, yeah. too. A lot of eating, but just landed on the floor. Yeah, they don't, it doesn't land on the floor in Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. just vanishes. I'm going to do, do some more research on this. I think, the, I think the dark web might know. They know everything. What is that guy's name? I don't know. <laughs> right? They gave him a name. He's called the sub something ghost. Mm. And it's not just hot to Slimer. 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 Oh, yeah, okay. Slimer. You Fucking not Slimer. something the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't just the nickname, it was I a real it was really like, his name. Like, like people know his Christian name for some reason. Name. Like yeah. who calls him Slimer? Like I guess Bill Murray? Yeah. But yeah. maybe he didn't he have a name when he was alive? Why would a man named Slimer die and become a ghost named Slimer? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then as a ghost he's just gotta thing. slime people because he's like, Well that's my name. Yeah. That's what yeah. I do. You're not gonna give up that name yeah. if you had that name as a human. Yeah, you yeah. just assume the position. There's no better name than Slimer. <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to do a dab, guys? I'll do one. There's one loaded up. Bring one to me, sir. And we'll see. Uh, if you got plans later or whatever, I understand. Red. It's Red little, means it's heating it a little up. bit much. Green means it's good to go. Green is go time. Oh, it's go time. <laughs> mm. What's exactly in the dab, in the in the juice? The juice. What's the process? Um, it's basically just uh, the extracted THC from from the actual plant. Um, so it's just like wax. Just wax. Um, basically, the the best process now, I think, is when you press it, which is basically you just take the rosin? a nug of weed and put it between two like heated panels, and they squish it and it just all the terpenes and the keef and stuff that's on the outside of the flower all that just kind of melts off and becomes your concentrate and so that way when you're smoke when you're smoking you don't have the combustion of all the flower material and stuff it's just just the the chemicals that are going to help help you the CBD the THC and the THCA it's, it's a much cleaner smoke yeah it gets you really high 
yeah, high instant and it's fast. It's a little more of a body high. It's a little less like thought cluttering. I feel like um, definitely more of a sit you in the in your chair and stay there for a while high, <laughs> <laughs> which I prefer. <laughs> Just why I'm the dad king, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't That's know good. if people are too many people at the gym have just dabbed, you know. Yeah. But maybe. That was a, I used to dab before a bike ride. It was my favorite thing to do. Just go out and enjoy the, enjoy a nice bike ride. It's a little harder in Hollywood now, but. Right. That's why you stopped. <laughs> Not yeah. some terrible accident. <laughs> no, I'm just a little more nervous riding my bike around the, ho the streets of Hollywood. As opposed to Charleston, South Carolina. Right. <laughs> <coughs> Ron Funch's Giggle Fit premiered on January 4th on Comedy Central and is now available everywhere for download and purchase. Yes. I yep. like that. Everywhere. Subway sandwich shops have it. <laughs> mm hmm Everywhere. Awesome. Then your Xbox, your PlayStation, your phone. Mm -hmm. Find it. That's Just, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Your phone is everywhere now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in your phone. That's what we should say yeah, from now on. It's in your phone. Hey, do you want this? It's in your phone. It's in your phone. Just you know find where. It. You Anything. know where you buy things in your phone. Just <laughs> <laughs> you know your phone stores. You've done some window shopping. And Citizen Cope's new album, Heroin and Helicopters. Those are the two things he loves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, those are two things from uh, Julie Andrews list. Of uh, a few of her favorite things. <laughs> Heroin and helicopters. <laughs> and. <laughs> and. I'd watch that movie for sure. Bicycles and Velociraptors. <laughs> um, the album's out on March 1st. Yes. March 1st. Yeah. And our next show here is going to be on February 12th next Tuesday and I think what that's gonna be is an actual like a uh, little preview or uh, uh, just an inside look at the new uh, doing Doug with Dabs show that we're gonna start yeah. uh, doing immediately after this show <laughs> yeah, today right. we're gonna sit here and I, I think the idea is that I'm going to do Dabs until I until my head hits the table okay because that how, how exciting will that be when that happens I'm excited it's a very it's an action table, like lots of stuff will fall over. Yeah, yeah there's wobblies. Maybe going the on. whole table will fall over because <laughs> it's always been pretty, pretty uh, precarious. But yeah, I did all the plugs and stuff because uh, at the very end, of the end of the show is very sudden. So I, just I, I wanted to make sure that I said all of that. And now the question is, would either of you like to do a dab today with us? We'll do, we'll each do more if necessary. Yeah. There's no pressure. Like nobody's being forced into no it. No peer pressure. Like yeah. Professor Ron. <laughs> yeah, what is it? What do, uh, I mean, I just, I, I, I'm already like seeing like a new uh, a new show on Fox. Uh, professor Cope Ron. and the Professor. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> professor Cope, yeah. That's CBS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, CBS? Yeah, you think it's going to hit the older people? <laughs> we can do, we can do some uh, medical ads. Huh? Yeah, I'll take a small one. Cool. All right, yeah, he's taking a small one. one. Ron's going to do a small him. one. Green means go. Is it already in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's already okay. in there. Well, then I guess I didn't get to decide how much <laughs> is a small one. You can stop yeah. whenever you want to stop. Could just, you have to trust I don't think I put a very big king. one in there anyways, yeah. I mean, a person with a title like Dab King, I, you know, is pretty trustworthy. It's true. <laughs> I'd like to be the trust king as well. Can I hold multiple titles? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> every yeah. title. Every you're title has to Dab. Yeah. Yeah. I, guess, I guess you're right. Yeah, they all have time to have in them. Seeking too much title. power now. Yeah, stay within your borders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would like to see you do some magic tricks. I don't know if I could. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that, the act will be called Dabra Kadabra. Yeah, okay. I like that. The only I one think I this this fucking device right here looks like a magic trick. It does. You know what I mean? Like if you just had like a now you're so if you just dramatically not. take a cloth off of it before you start. And then do some magic fingers it around it. It's going to change colors. Mm -hmm. Didn't people Whose use turn is it? Butane. Uh, it's back to me if uh, Cope doesn't want one. Oh, that's right. Are you in? 
I'll, yeah, I'll try definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Purple yeah. haze. <laughs> Wait till it goes green and then you're good to go. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, he's gonna hold it. Like a pro. What do you do? Uh, you just go and hit it just like a normal. Just take a hit off. Yeah, you, you don't just, even have to pull that off. You don't want. We just do that for show. It's not really necessary. There it is. Yeah. How do you like how that feels? <laughs> Very clean, like you said. Yeah. Smooth. Excuse me. me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to it, but it's good. Oh, um, that would suck. You've done dabs before somewhere or anywhere? Or is that the first time? It was my first dab. Oh. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, we hope... Uh, I saw somebody doing it one time, and they were using one of those butane uh, torch. Yeah. 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 yeah, it kind of made me... Uh, yeah, it turns people off. Yes. <laughs> pretty easily. Yeah, we're getting a lot more yeses from the panelists, the guests. Because we ask everybody at the end of the show, do you want to do a dab? And we're getting a lot more yeses since we found this contraption. Because it's a lot less scary than... Uh, yeah, it's much more user-friendly. Yeah, than things that have a whole so big what's the size heating behind that? device. Uh, basically, there's... Uh, 20 seconds. A little dish inside of here that heats up. Go! Yeah. And it evaporates the oil. Explain it faster! And you're <laughs> inhaling the oil instead of combusted plant Thank material. you, Ron Funch and Susan Cope. Alicia and Taylor and <laughs> everybody on the crew and uh, the dog that's wait, <laughs> yeah, waiting outside to be petted. And we go pet it real good. Because that's what, you know, when I get really high, that's all I want to do mm -hmm. is pet a dog. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>